everyone, this is Casper the Boy Diviner and today I wanted to show you guys um, my tarot deck not my, my deck um, that I bought from Alexander Danilov so this is the Danilov tarot okay so I got the fourth edition I almost bought the third one because I saw how beautiful it was but when the fourth one came out I was like it's time Alright, uh, and I'll say this is more of a review than a walkthrough that I usually do because I have been working with this deck for quite a while. So it comes in a little tuck box that is quite flimsy. You can tell that after... Actually, it came with this crease when, when it first arrived. And um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, I, I mean, it didn't take much away from the, the deck. It's just that um, I wish I had a perfect deck when it came. At the same time, the, the cards are beautiful and it really mirrors the RWS with some tweaks here and there. So just, just to show you some of the cards, you see, this is very RWS. Seven of Pentacles, you see, the Eight of Wands. I love this Eight of Wands. Okay, I basically love most of the, the deck. I just wanted to show you some of the standouts that I felt uh, in this deck. So all of the cards have this little golden golden frame and that's beautiful it also comes with an extra card um, that is basically just a blank card usually when I I use that blank card when I talk about like um, when I wanna maybe try to do some spirit uh, communication like that's the veil and what's behind the veil alright but uh, I, I kept that, that card apart from this deck just because I use this deck for readings most of the time a lot of the times so some of the standouts here are the cards that don't actually have a border I love how the aces came out and you can see that he uses the motif of the animal again and again this is the sword this is the, the eagle and then the fish for the cups I think it's beautiful and another another set that I really like is the court cards because they also um, always have the animal motif they also have very grumpy looking people which I find adorable so the knights always have a shield the queens are always sort of in that shield in, in a curtain you can see the animal motif here you can see um with the queens also, they have the suit, the traditional suit that they are associated to. So this is the wa Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a card that I always look at when I buy a new deck. Right? Look at how grumpy she is. Alright, the kings are always having the pelt of the animal around him. With the castle behind him as well. See the fish? For the cups. The bull for the pentacles. This is the happiest court card in, in this deck. The, the queen of pentacles. She's always like very pleased with herself. She's like, hmm, I've done it. You can see the diamonds here. The suit of diamond. Queen of hearts, also happy. Hearts. Que sorry, the queen of cups. Yeah, you can see. Cancer. And then the pages are are basically like um, heralds, they, they, have a, they are more messenger-like because they have the flag behind them. The angel in the Wheel of Fortune. So another knight with the shield. I know this wasn't supposed to be a walkthrough, but I felt like the court cards are very interesting because they are so grumpy. You can really feel the the killer intent behind this this queen of swords. She's like, I'm gonna slay you. So spades and also the uh, Libra, I think. And the court cards really look like a family here. They they I feel like every court card based on their hair, the coloring. Okay, so now some of the, the cards that I feel like are standouts um, in the deck. The Three of Swords. You can see that uh, there's the Shard of Turin. Not sure exactly what the symbolism is there, but it's very interesting to see that. The Magician. 
you can see that he's wearing a mask. So I feel like um, there's some things about this card that, that relates to also power manifestation, but also that kind of trickster appeal of the of the magician with the mask here. It also talks, I feel like, about the feminine and the masculine. Four of Pentacles. So I usually read Four of Pentacles sometimes as self-care and learning how to be selfish for yourself. But in this case, you can see that he has so many walls up. In a way, I feel like this is about de defensiveness, maybe a over, over defensiveness. Hmm, sorry. This is the moon. I only threw this here just because of how beautiful it is. And you can see that in a way it's um the dark with the light and the light in the dark based on the towers and the uh and the dog and the wolf. This looks more like a jackal to me. And this is not a lobster, it's more of a crab. But it's a beautiful, beautiful depiction of the moon. Most of the majors are very beautiful. I suggest you go to his website to have a look. Death. I love that it has the reminder of um Scorpio Scorpio here here. So like I'm not good with terror correspondences. I bought um uh T Susan Chang's book and I'm still going through it. I feel like I do need a lot of flashcards to really start to kick kick start and drive myself to really push myself to really really get into tarot correspondences. I'm taking her course as well. I'm still stuck because I haven't had the motivation and discipline to push myself to memorize. This is the world. I love the ship in this like typhoon-like um, world. And then death. Yeah. The fool. I love this fool. I, I feel like he's pointing towards his back which actually has the whole universe in him. You know? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. The Hermit. About more about knowledge collection than really like illuminating the night. And then the Six of Cups. This reminds me more of childhood and nostalgia than the actual RWS because it's two children playing. Alright, and then I'll talk about some of the cards that I felt. Uh, sometimes I take some time to think about and I'm not sure about. Uh, the Six of Swords. So, typically when I read the RW Six of Swords, the swords are in the boat. You are bringing your baggage along with you to wherever you're going but you're working on it. Here, this I feel like it's more of an Eight of Cups, you know, leaving things behind, moving forwards. You're not working on the, the, the flaws that you already have as you move forward and that's why I wish I really wish the swords were in the boat as well instead of dying on the shore in a way there's that kind of tre treacherous um, feel to this card as well when I read the original RWS six of swords um, there's that sense of relief you're moving forward you're bringing your baggage with you but it's fine someone is guiding you forwards you know someone is actually um, moving the boat not yourself in this card it's you and there's this figure here at the bottom uh we should focus okay there's that figure here that's that quicken or uh some kind of sea monster and you don't have a sword with you to protect yourself you are guiding the boat yourself um not that differences with the rws is bad it's just that sometimes it makes it harder for me to read again this Ten of Pentacles kind of also confuses me sometimes with the Emperor, with um, other kings in, in the deck. When I see the Ten of Pentacles, I see a family, you know, I see... Um, yeah, I see family, I see maybe an outsider status. Here, I don't see any of that, I see kind of a, a power. Um, yeah. The Five of Pentacles also proves difficult for me, and I'm not sure if it's because I'm uncomfortable with the um, depiction of uh, disability, things like that. Uh, I don't really see much salvation here or looking for help. Yeah. 
I, I sometimes I, I find the, the you see this the stripes here and then the chevrons here I, I, like so what I'll go on to the um, one of the hopes I wish that um Alexander Danilov has later on but the two of two of pentacles also proves to be a problem I see a lot of pentacles here now like maybe that's a suit that I don't really get but I don't see how so basically in the original he's a juggler I guess he I guess um, Danilov um, interprets juggler with a clown ish figure I, I don't get why the water is coming out I don't think he's doing a very good job of juggling here when I read in the RWS as a thing good because you know how to handle your things the nine of cups is another um, the card that confuses me I you know like um this is pretty much more of the ten of Pentacles here a family in a way I also find the the jester here a bit strange like why is he in the nine of cups I, I guess this man is pretty pleased with himself having a family but this is not what I really associate with when I see the nine of cups in RWS so sometimes um I mean the deck is smaller after the RWS is really good it's easy to read a lot of the cards are really straightforward but beautiful depiction of the RWS for example like uh, the seven of cups so I really love this deck. I just wish the card stock was a little better. I feel like the card stock stock here is a bit um flimsy in a sense. It's a bit light. I also wish. I mean, I saw the older editions of the deck, and I felt like um square borders were not were not a good idea. But the madness of the card stock would really do this deck well. This deck, to me, is a bit too smooth. A bit too sh sh um a bit. No, it's definitely not a glossy deck, thank god. It's a bit, um, just shiny, but still very workable. I really hope Danilov thinks about writing a quick book to explain his depiction of some of the cards. I think that would have helped a lot with my understanding of the deck. I feel like, um, I really like reading about how why an artist interprets things in a certain way. I'm getting my true black tarot soon, so. I, I'm looking forward to seeing that book because I feel like Arthur Wang really did a good job doing that um, based on what I can see online uh, yeah but the Daniel of Tarot is something that you I feel like um, if you like the RWS system is something and you want something more ostentatious some 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 art that seems more Italian I just dropped the cards all over, all over the place I'll pick them up later I think this deck is a good deck to look into um, other things I really like about the deck, it's um it's the backings. The backings are delicious. I love how he also incorporates some of the. I love how he incorporates the number into the image itself. Most of the time, he doesn't uh you know have a what's that called um. I don't really like it when when decks have have like a caption below. It's not really my thing. I prefer it if it's incorporated in the, the image. So this deck is really good at that. Alright, uh, I don't really have much else to say. Let me know if you want a proper full look through in the deck. But I feel like a lot of people have done full walkthroughs of this deck that you can look at. For example, like Simon from uh, The Hermit's Cave. He did a really good uh, walkthrough. Alright, uh, okay, yeah, these are my thoughts on this deck. So you guys have a great rest of the day. Take care. Bye.